Hey everyone! So I've been getting a lot of requests lately uh, to give a house tour and uh, my house is about as clean as it's gonna get so let's do it. Oh hi! <laughs> Alright so we enter the house right into the frog room. Now this is where I house all of my dart frogs. Um, I prefer to have species rooms that way I can organize them accordingly and uh, it makes it a lot easier for for keeping purposes for the misting misting systems and for feeding and and for everything so we can go through this real quick and I can kind of show you guys I have some erratas down there particulatas down here oh yeah, so all four of them are out oh my god one two three four Ah, I can't believe it. Got my mints up here. Always out, always together. Where's number four? Oh, there he is, bam. And in this rack here, I have my smaller species, um, Renitimea and Pumilio. So I have pairs, a few groups that are actually getting an upgrade soon. Ooh, look, I got some frogs here. Fantastica. Hey guys! These are actually one of the ones that are getting an upgrade. Very excited about that. And then in these racks here, I tend to have smaller species on the bottom, either Renitimea or um, Pumilio. And then across the center, I have large terrestrial species like. Uh, Tinctorius and Aratus, and then up top I have kind of a mixture actually from Atelopis, Santa Isabel's. Oh, we got a reticulata down there. Look at that beauty. Those are my favorite dark frogs, you guys. Oh, look, an Azurius. Oh, let's see if we can say hi. Hey, beautiful. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, Vanzellinis. That's the male right there. Bam. Alpha male. Ooh, and another one down there. Oh, and a baby back there. Oh my god, oh my god, let's zoom in. Ah, he's so cute. Tiny little baby. Ooh, and another one there. Ooh, and the reticulatas are out. Oh my gosh, look. This is my third group. Actually, I have two pairs. This is a pair. And the ones we just saw there are a pair, and that is a group of striped reticulata. Um, the tubs that you see here are my grow-out tubs. These are temporary housing for baby dart frogs, essentially. Um, keeping them in tubs makes it easier for them to find their food because it's a very small environment, if you will, so it makes them feel safe and comfortable, and they're able to to kind of live out the beginning of their lives without having to worry about too much space, too much attention, etc., etc. Oh, look at these girls. What are you sillies doing? Hi. Hey, beautifuls. <laughs> um, so now the tubs are not meant to be any kind of uh, permanent housing. They're definitely just temporary to to grow out in. Let's see, we got some more dark frogs down here. Check out this beautiful mushroom that just came out. Oh my gosh. Look at this. So cool. I love the mushrooms. They're not on purpose. I don't put them there. They just kind of appear. Is that a frog? Nope. <laughs> oh, let's see, we got one more rack over here. Alright, these are my Vietnamese mossy frogs up here. Um, and we have a group of Pumilio down there. And then this is an empty that is going to be my next build. So when I finally get around to building this enclosure, I promise I'll make a video <laughs> on how I build dark frog vivariums. And we're going to house the Azurias here and there, so they're going to get more space, which is going to rock for them. Now, carrying on to the rest of the house, got my cricket tubs down here, got some more frogs here. These are my aratus holdbacks from my bronze aratus. 
we have um, my grandest pair here, male, female. They have this beautiful show bib. I gotta update the plants, but every couple of months I'll kind of take out what isn't doing well, like that poor thing right there, <laughs> and I'll just like replace it for more appropriate plants. Now we got the chameleons. So we have uh, a nosy folly female there, a male veiled, and then a female veiled. Oh, look at her. Oh, hi, pretty. Hello, pretty girl. Oh, sitting so pretty. Here we got Mozart, the Ambanja. He's a beautiful boy. And now here, we've got the rest of the, the gecko slash chameleon room. We can call this the Madagascar room, if you will. Got Bach the Ambilobi. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Aw. I'm here, sweetie. There he is. Now he focuses on me. <laughs> Cutie. We got a breeding group of Clemeri up here. Uh, a standing eye baby there. Some baby Camellia was down there. Oh my gosh, look at this female veal. She's definitely about to lay some eggs. Holy cow. Oh. Uh, we got some more day geckos down there. Got a pair of Robert Mertensi. I don't know how you say that. Robert Mertensi? I don't know. I usually read the names. I don't actually say them aloud. Oh, look who's coming. <laughs> Uh, we got two trios of William's Eye. They're also getting a nice upgrade soon. Um, some gonatodes. Here's Tchaikovsky, the nosy folly. Hey, sweet boy. Oh, there he comes. Oh, he was coming to me. Oh, and so is he, sweeties. Here are more Clemeri. This is another breeding group. We can see one scattering there. Got a baby living in here. Oh, there he is. Oh, look how big he's getting. Oh, so cute. Oh, look, a baby in the center. We got an adult baby. An adult peeking at me from right there. <laughs> They're so funny. We got another couple females here. Oh, look at how big they are. Got one there. Another one up here. These were holdbacks of mine, actually, from that breeding group up there. So I'm kind of hoping to hold them back so that they can become future breeders with a male produced by this group, which is unrelated. Uh, here we got some more chameleons. We got Penelope, my active um, Embelobe girl, and Dimitri. My standing eyes up there. That's another one that needs a little... TLC. Oh my gosh, look at this female. Oh my gosh, she's so big. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Look at you, beautiful. <laughs> so funny. Little baby behind her. They always watch. Look at that. They're just like watching me watch them. <laughs> so great. So great. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, you want to come out, big boy? All right, all right, all right. Hi. Jesus. All right, he's going to he's going to continue this room tour with me. Oh, there we go. He just sits there. All he wanted just runs up my arm just to sit there. Right, Bolt. Right, Bullet? Is that what happens? He's, he says yes. <laughs> All right, so look at that. Nice, peaceful room. This is my living room. I love it. They're so great. And then over here, got my kitchen over here, which is awesome. It's like right in the center. From the kitchen, I have a real nice view of um, the frog room. So while I'm here, I can still see the frog room. And I can see the gecko room, or chameleon room. <laughs> Silly boy. Look at these um, custom magnets I have. These are awesome. These are some custom magnets that were made 
by a really cool guy in the UK. All of these um, custom. He used my pictures to make them for me. And these were made by Natalyn Vito, also custom based off of my animals. How cool is that? I love it, you guys. So great. Oh, and that was made by my cousin. Oh, so cute. And uh, I did that when I was a teenager. Oh my gosh, well, let's not go there. All right, so back to the tour. Oh, here's some babies that are going to my friend real soon. A couple of eye babies. All right, so now we're gonna take a quick detour into my bedroom, AKA the Camellioles room. So we've got, we've got a pair there, a lone female here. Right, Bullet? <laughs> um, here we have my, my breeding group, or a pair, I mean. That's Luna and Chip. I know you guys see them all the time. But this is them, right next to my bed. I love them. And there I have a pair of uh, smaller chamele... Oh! Fancy one right there! Ah! Um, small baby chameleolus. So this is, this is nice. I like it. I get to sleep next to them. Which is awesome. Like, who needs stuff in their room that isn't animals, you know? Alright, so now this room. This is kind of my miscellaneous room. This is the room that I put the species that are not dart frogs and day geckos or chameleolus. So everything else kind of falls into here. I have a, um... Uh, Vietnamese mossy frog there. This is a Felloderma bicolor, which is a different species from the ones back there. Here I have a Solomon Island leaf frog male. Big ol' thing for him. There's like moth overtaking this whole enclosure. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's like tons of them, so I have to... I'm just gonna empty this out and just redo the whole thing. Um, here I have this little... this little guy that I'm watching for my friend. Got some crested geckos up here. Got some more Solomon Island leaf frogs here. Oh my gosh, there he is. There he is. Oh, 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 can't see. There we go. Oh, that's terrible. All right. The reflection is not making this easy. Oh my gosh, Buck. <laughs> He's just like holding on. I have um, a cave gecko in there. I got my. My Jackson chameleons here. Look at that big girl. These guys are also going to get an upgrade very soon. Where's my big boy? Oh, I don't see him. He's usually right in front of my face. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Yep. He's right there up against the top. See his little, his little eyeball, his little horns. Can't really zoom in, but... Yeah, these guys are getting a new a new upgrade soon. Now that it's summer, I'll actually have time. I have a couple of golden mantellas in here. And these are more crested geckos, gargoyle geckos. Some ex those are extras, just empties. I got some empties down here. I got two skyscrapers. And these two 18 by 24s. So I'm gonna use this for frogs, day geckos, day geckos. I don't even know what I'm going to use that for. But these are going to get my uh, Clemmeri, my Clemmeri breeding groups. They're each going to get a skyscraper. That's going to be awesome. Then I have uh, this rain chamber back here. It's a nice 36 long, 18 wide custom rain chamber that I'm going to use to breed my bumblebee toads one day. And this empty 18 or 36 by 18 by 18. Oh my gosh, I guess I should get to it eventually. Um... So that's pretty much everything, you guys. It's pretty much all of my... Now you notice all of my rooms have Mist King systems. There's two Mist King systems in this room. One that's drippers for all the geckos and um, chameleons. And then um, another that's like misting nozzles for everybody else. Oh my gosh, look. I'm taking this down, Buck. This is a nice view. Walking out of the bedroom, out of the rooms, 
and into the magic that is the frog room. It's so beautiful. We'll just do one last, one last walk through. Yeah, so, so this whole wall, all of this actually, is um, on one misting system, which is pretty amazing. It's the, the ultimate, the biggest one. So, and then all of these guys, there's two misting systems in this room. Um, I think it was last weekend. I don't know, I posted a video when I did it. But um, I used um, an entire one just for the chameleons, for their nozzles, and then another one just for the day geckos. And I explained all that in the video, but I thought it was pretty interesting to show while we're doing a, a room tour. Where's my other dogs? Bolt, where's Nala? She's been following me around, but I don't know where she is. Must be in the bedroom. All right, cool. Well, that's the whole house. <laughs> oh, there she is. There's Nala. All right, well, if there's anything you guys wanna see or let me know what you think, I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, leave me some comments and say hi. Um, all right, well, I guess this is it. Happy frogging. Thanks for watching, guys.